All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my permadeath playthrough of Fallout Dust, where today we are still in the bowels of Helios 1, and somehow I'm still alive. I honestly thought that at the end of the last episode that that was going to be it, but no thanks to some Detura, some Morphine, multiple stim packs, and a super stim pack, we were able to successfully take out these three damnable turrets without dying, though it was pretty close. Oh boy, I, I honestly thought it was going to be the end of this character then, but no, we, we, we survived to fight on another day, which so happens to be today. So let us continue our way through Helios 1, hopefully dealing with all of the horrible, nasty things that are left here, as well as we did those turrets. Which, <laughs> honestly, we didn't handle them too well. Uh, which a few of you pointed out in the comments for the last video that I have those pulse grenades. Well, actually, I think I only have one of them and that I should have used them on those turrets. The reason I didn't, because unlike, unlike the radiation suit, I actually do remember that I have those in my inventory, but... I don't trust my throwing ability, especially with where I was. I mean, look at that low roof there. With my luck, the grenade just would have bounced off the roof and blown up at my feet, which probably would have killed me. I don't know if it would have for sure, because I don't know how much uh, uh, one of those types of grenades would damage me in dust, but I didn't want to take the risk, and that is why we did not do that. Oh, average. Oh, I don't have enough lockpick for you. Ooh, pulse grenades. More of them. Lovely. Well, now we have three. Actually, let, let's actually check to see how many I do have to be on the safe side. Oh, God, no, I have a lot more than what I thought. Oh, it was the pulse mine I only have one of. Ooh, well, we may, we may try to use these today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the robots know I'm here now already. Oh, God. Oh, uh, but yeah, I'm still... I'm still a little bit hesitant to use them. God, they're like right on the other side of the wall. Oh boy. I'm still hesitant to use them because we are indoors. But, I mean, it still might be worth it. Ooh, moot fruit. We'll take that. Nothing in the suitcase. How can you see me through the wall? Damn you. All right, well, let's continue on this way. And, ooh, actually check these before I forget. Filing cabinet. Ooh, 20 gauge, nice. Anything in the locker? No. Okay, let's see. Can I remember anything else that you guys pointed out in the comments in the last episode? Oh, yeah. Someone said that I should check that room up there for mines, uh, for free ones that I could pick up. There were none in there, though there was some flamer fuel that I missed up in that computer room, which is quite cool. I mean, I don't have a functioning flamer, but... With empty bottles, I can turn those into Molotov cocktails, which I may do at some point. Because I haven't really been doing much crafting. I've done a little bit uh, off-camera when I was back at uh, Understone. But yeah, I really need to do a bit more. Because one of the things, you're supposed to be able to make a silencer for the uh, makeshift weapons. So I would like to go and do that. There are some craftable attachments for them. So we are going to have to give those a try at crafting at some point. But I do still have to level up those abilities. <gasps> oh, thanks, sweet Jebediah. We have a programmer's digest. Yeah, I'm still mad at myself for using two of those to try and hack the computer back there. I completely forgot that they don't stack. I mean, I should have remembered that. It, like most things in this game, the, the stats do not stack. But, you know, I couldn't remember it for sure. Oh, let's take the pre-war money. So I gave it a go, and we wasted one, which then <laughs> someone in the comments did point out to me that, hey, yeah, remember those scientists you killed in the, in the previous episode? Or actually, two episodes ago now. Yeah, I could have taken one of their coats. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that at all. But, oh well, say la vie. Open the door. Crouch. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Nothing so far. What's on the ground there? Just a normal book. That's actually one thing. I haven't found any books yet. I found plenty of magazines. Oh, hello! Ooh, let's actually snipe them. Because I think I have some... Well, no, armor-piercing bullets I don't think would be... great against them? I don't know. What the hell? Let's use them. I don't have many of them, so... Use them while I got them! Hello! 
And boom! <laughs> I don't know if they're effective or not against them because they're made for armored opponents. But you know, I, I just would as one would assume that a robot is armored. But then again, <laughs> this is Fallout. You never know. Uh, okay. Ooh, I see a med pack back there. Pre-war money. We'll take that. Uh, nothing good there. Nothing good there. Please have something good. A doctor's bag, that's good, and a medical brace. That is useless to me. Oh boy, okay, well, that's all from there. Yeah, what the hell, let's continue to use these armor-piercing rounds. Did I check the dumpster? It's empty. Alrighty. So yeah, I have no idea if armor-piercing rounds are more effective against robots. One would think, I mean, they are made of armor, essentially. Oh, there we go, get ourselves some sexy sleepwear to up our charisma, which is non-existent. <laughs> I actually think it is non-existent. Hold on one moment. I didn't think about this before. What is my charisma stat at? <laughs> oh, Two. Two. And doesn't insanity... Yeah. Insanity makes my charisma negative one. <laughs> oh my god. So not only is my character just like... It, it, stupid as hell uh, with the negative three intelligence, but I am just so charismatically repulsive to other people. No wonder whenever I'm in a town, people keep telling me to go and die. Oh boy, that kept happening in Understone when I was off camera just looting the whole place. Everyone was telling me, you're gonna get your comeuppance eventually. I'm like, well, God, why do you all hate me here? I have done nothing to you yet, but... <laughs> That, that would probably explain it, the fact that I have a charisma of negative one. Oh my god, that's wonderful. Oh, okay. Alright. Anyone through the door? Oh boy, I am paranoid. Darts. Yeah, I'll take them. What the hell? I have no use for them, but... Every day is a good day to die. For you! Ah, <laughs> oh, these armor-piercing bullets are beautiful! Maybe they are more effective against robots. Because that was a one-hit kill on that guy. That was great. I mean, I do have those plasma grenades still, but... Oh, God. Like I said earlier, enclosed space makes me paranoid. I don't want to use them in here. <laughs> okay, 20 gauge. That's always good. Oh, 5.56. Five, that's always good, too. Any others? Not seeing any other robots. Hello? Anyone here? I mean, you probably are. You're just not showing your face quite yet. Hmm. You think you'd hear them. I mean, robots are definitely not one of the silent, stealthy opponents. The Protectrons just kind of lumber around with the clanking of their metal feet. And the, uh... Mr. Fixits or whatever the crap they're called. Why am I forgetting what those guys are called right now? Uh, they just kind of... Well, they back talk a lot. Mr. Gutsy, that's what you're called. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm surprised. I would have assumed we'd have more robots to deal with in here. Ooh, anything to loot over there? I don't see anything. Oh, God, I'm going to go and check just to be on the safe side. I don't want to miss something. Toolbox, already looked at you. Okay. So, yeah, I'd hate to miss something that was really good and really obvious. Because, well, I'll never hear the end of it in the comment section. <laughs> I'm still getting comments on, like, episode two and three after weeks now of people saying, Why don't you use your radiation suit? Ah, uh, because I forgot it existed then. Okay. Let's see, and, uh, microscopes. We could take one of those. Might be fun. Uh, filing cabinets. Nothing. All right, back to sneak. Oh God, we have caution. Oh God, you're probably on the other side of the door, aren't you? No, I don't want to step into the open and identify myself. Why? Why would I do such a thing? Uh-oh, he's searching for me now. Interesting. Okay, come on. He's getting louder. 
Oh, there we go. Here he comes. Snow mo. Boom. There we go. <laughs> oh, God, there's another. Okay, come on. Come on. I am certainly hostile. Oh, God, I see his arm. This area clear. I wonder if I can shoot the arm. Oh. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that to work. Beautiful. Oh, my God, I love this armor-piercing rounds for the sniper rifle. That is, that is just beautiful. Do I have armor-piercing rounds for anything else? I'm intrigued now. As I know I bought a crap load of ammo, including uh, different varieties like hollow point and armor-piercing back in Understone. But do I have any other armor-piercing? And some hollow points on the 10 millimeter. Now it looks like these are the only armor piercing ones that I have for the th are for the 308. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, let's loot these guys. And leave the scrap metal. I don't need that. And Oh, nothing in there. Okay. Okay. Got my finger hovering over Q for vats. Just in case. Warning. Hostile in area. Where? Oh, God. Well, not over here. Ooh. Auto tape. Oh, the Poseidon ID. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be useful for me at this point. All right, so we're on danger, so someone is after us. Yeah, we'll take the darts. Yes, I am armed and dangerous. Now we could take another Poseidon ID, but nope, nope, we're good. Warning. Dangerous fugitive is on the loop. Ooh, hello. Oh, God, there are multiples. Okay, okay, okay. Back off. In area. Yes, there are hostiles in the area. Me. Come on. Come on. Come through the door, buddy. There we go. Boom. Excellent. Take him down, too. And we are hidden again. Uh, you gotta love vats. Oh, boy. I can't wait to see how, how they work with the vats in the new Fallout 4. Wondering if they'll add any new features or anything like that to it. It'll be interesting to see how that all goes. I'm just happy that they're making a new one finally. After all these years. Coffee pot. No. I could use some coffee though. Oh god, I can't open that lock. And we only have eight of these armor piercing rounds left. Eh, what the hell, we'll keep using them. I don't know when I'll need to use these armor piercing rounds next. Well, actually, no. I'm going to save them. We'll keep them around. We'll switch back to... The assault rifle, so we've got a good bit of uh, fire suppression on them. Oh, we have danger. This oh, hi. Ooh. To your local law okay, okay, you know what? We're gonna do... False grenade. And... Take that! Explode! Okay! Okay! That worked. That worked. Beautiful. And we're hidden again. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just keep these out. That went better than I thought. We didn't get a weird arc, which is what I was worried about of it bouncing off the ceiling or something. So perhaps we'll be fine. Anything fun in here to take? Eh, no. I do need scrap electronics at some point, but yeah, not for the time being. So let's see here. Oh, no, nothing in here. Sad. Okay, so moving swiftly forward. Make it down this hallway. Toolbox. Hammer. No. That would be awesome if I could use the hammers as weapons. Okay. Not seeing any more. Have we killed them all? Ooh, medical supplies. Oh, please be nothing. Nothing useful at all. God, just a scalpel. Damn you. All right, so let's see. Next room. No one. 
Excellent. Let's actually go back to our assault rifle. And see if we have any fun supplies. Strange meat. Oh, yeah, the cannibals took up residence in this place, didn't they? Forgot about that. <laughs> okay, well. Let's just continue forward here. And... Oh, no, nothing useful. Oh, I was really hoping we might find some more stuff in here. But we still have more of the place to explore, so... Oh, God, I'm gonna get over the barricade, damn it. Oh, God, I'm stuck on it. Oh, all right, there we go. Forgot to check the oven. Tunneler steak. You know what? I'll take it. What the hell? And what we're gonna do is save real quick before we go through that door, because as I've mentioned previously, the only time I've ever had any weird crashing issues with dust is when going through doors. Other than that, I haven't had any crashing issues, which has been great, because I know a lot of other people have had some issues. For me, though, it just seems to be doors. We're good. We're good. All right, so... Empty Nuka-Cola bottle. I could turn those into uh, Molotovs. But no, no, we're good. We're good. All righty. Should probably clear this place out before I start blowing crap up. But I cannot help the looting. The urge it takes me over. Must loot everything. Nothing useful. Holy crap, Atomic Cocktail also restores sanity. Huh. You know, what the hell? I've been passing those up. But, oh, does all alcohol? Hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Where's my alcohol? Uh, okay. Aid. I've been keeping around some vodka, I believe, for emergency rads. Oh, it does restore sanity. I had not noticed that at all. Huh. Okay, works for me. Oh, I wonder if that was there the whole time, because we did update partially through the series. I updated to the most recent version of Dust, because we were having a few minor issues here and there, and uh, the update fixed those. I'm wondering if maybe it added that sanity-reducing stuff then. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright. Desk. Oop, finally cabinet has things. Pre-war money. That's the only useful bit. Empty crap. Toolbox. Sensor module. Mm, I kind of want to pick it up. No, I think I've got one or two in my inventory. Because uh, eventually I can use those with stim packs to make auto injectors. Which would be quite handy to have. But for right now, I don't need it. Hi, Mr. Gutsy. You're going to come alive, aren't you? Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't remember if he comes alive or not. It's been so long since I've played the quest that goes along with this in the vanilla game. Wasn't it that if you, like, fix that computer, they become the defenses for this place to help keep it safe? Maybe? Oh, God. Just watch it. Be careful. Can we loot it? Pickpocket Python. I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up. <laughs> Ooh. We have an AR scanner implant, which, oh, God, how would I even... Get, ooh, piney nuts, nice. How would I even get an implant installed? Well, there is the doctor back in Understone. You know what? I'm going to take it, just in case I might be able to find a doctor who can implant those. Ah, the I Dream of Electric Sheep quest. Oh, and yes, this is the reason I came here. Oh, my favorite armor in the game, the advanced recon stuff. Oh, yes. Okay, is it full advanced recon tech, or do we just have certain bits and bobs? Uh, that's just helmet. Interesting. Oh, damn, I think it might just be helmets. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's the night vision. That's the breather. And then we have three helmets to choose from. You know what? Huh. Well, I'm going to take the advanced recon TAC because that is just beautiful. And we can install it and we have the TAC skill if we do. There we go. Excellent. And it gives us plus two critical chance, which is beautiful. Now, I do have an old riot gear helmet, so I wonder if we could maybe fix the or fix one of these with that. Oh, but which one do I want? I'm kind of tempted just to take the Recon Breather Mask, because 
Well, it'd give us a better mask than we currently have, but you know, we'll take the black and we'll take that. And let's compare the two, because I, I'm intrigued. So right now we have this breathing mask, which gives us the red resistance of plus 15, and our cowboy hat, which gives us perception, and combined, we get 2 DT between the two of those. Now the recon breather, we get water breathing, red resistance of 25, poison resistance of 25, but no damage resistance. The helmet, we get 4 damage, uh, no, blah, blah, DT, there we go. Uh, water breathing, perception one, rad resistance, and poison resistance. You know what? We're wearing this. We're wearing this. And we're going to drop this. There we go. And the breathing mask. I no longer need it either. Well, excellent. There we are. We have a kind of out-of-place mask with the rest of our equipment. All right, let's zoom around a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit out of place. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm happy though. I'm going to grab these other helmets because we can repair with things later. Plus, yeah, maybe I'll decide to use one of those instead because I like how it looks on me. And let's just go out to the Mojave. I'm intrigued if there's anything up here added by dust. I mean, it's just outside, so perhaps not, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, hey, it's nighttime out. Well, we have been out a while, I guess. See, it says we're hidden, but then the music changed on me, so I'm unsure. <laughs> oh, God. The music. Why must it always make me question things? Alrighty. I was hoping maybe we might have a... weapon or something up here, or maybe some other equipment. But no, and I can't actually activate this because I didn't do any of the other computer things. But oh well, we don't need to activate it anyways. We're not doing the quest. And uh, I don't have the little zappy gun that I forget what it's called suddenly to use it with. So doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm actually going to end the episode here, I think. Because all I'm going to do now is backtrack my way out of this place. And that would make for boring watching. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there because I, yeah, I sincerely doubt you guys want to watch me walking back through the uh, the whole Hyperion area here. Or, wait, did I just call it Hyperion? I did. Okay, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave here and we're going to end up at the front of the building for the next episode. I think that'll be a good start for the next one. Now, I told you guys long ago after, like, what? Oh, God. Episode 2 or 3 that I wouldn't do things like this because I was afraid maybe there'd be enemies that would try to kill me. But that's in the Mojave. We have cleared out this building, so it shouldn't be a problem with Helios 1. The whole place... Oh, God, it moved. <laughs> It spawned in and moved and scared the crap out of me. So, yeah, I, there shouldn't be anything weird to try and kill me on the way back. So I will see you guys outside of Helios 1 for the next episode. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this one and that you come back for the next. But until then, uh, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. Oh, oh, yeah, also, before we leave, where should I go next? Multiple people are telling me Prim. But multiple people are also telling me not to go to Prim. So I'm, I'm kind of getting conflicting suggestions there. So where do you think I should go next from here? I'm intrigued to hear what could be out there in the wasteland. So yes, until then, my friends, though, thank you. Thank you once again for watching. And as always, have a good one.